things that were developed throughout the tour. It's gotten Jack excited to, I don't know, be inspired and like look at it in a new way. Where it's, you know, not every guitar has all these functions on it. So, you know, to filter John pick up a P90 and a full range, um, all by Tim Shaw, Fender. Brilliant, brilliant guy. Um, the rest was all done by uh, Chip Ellis. I've messed around with a couple of the modifications along the way in a cool redneck guitar tech touring way. Um, but Chip and Tim Shaw are the real brilliants behind me. Getting the jack stuff to my foot. This is a, a V neck on the back. It's like a soft V. And that's a, a little inspired by. Um, it's a bunch of old Gibsons from the early 1900s that have a very thick, chunky V neck. So that's where uh, that's going to come from. Get yourself a B-bender on the strap, you know. Some nice tour wear of a little uh, rust in the, uh, you know what I mean? Like this has seen a lot of life, seen a lot of shows. Um, um, kill switch, super fun. And um, this switch is, uh, kills it. And then this is normal signal here, and then that's straight to the output jack. So that bypasses the knobs entirely, which you won't be able to hear too much on the show floor, but depending on what amp or what rig you're playing through, you can end up with a lot, um, quite a jump in like treble and then, like dynamic response by taking that load with the uh, potentiometer. Um, and the fretboard scallops? Oh yeah, that was another fun thing that evolved on the tour. The first version didn't have it, but then it was that'd be kind of a fun idea to try that out. So it's not a full scallop in the traditional shredder sense. It's kind of like a side of scallops, <laughs> where it's it's just tapered along here. So you're still really comfortable for all your chords and stuff up top. But then as you come up along your neck, in the uh, you know this little party zone down here, like that's where you kind of have a little bit of that you know, quite a bit of scalloping in there, which has been super fun to try. I don't know, I never played any other guitars like that, so it's been really fun just seeing it all evolve throughout the tour. Mm. And the D-tuner on the back as well. Yeah, exactly. That's super cool, because then I can drop E, drop E, right back to E, and yeah. pretty fun. 